welcome back to my channel and thanks for being a part of my story. Good morning everybody. So it is a beautiful day out here in Michigan. Here comes Ginger. <laughs> She is playing outside for a little bit. I am dressed and ready since I started having breakfast around or brunch around 12 now with my intermittent fasting. I have plenty of time to get dressed and ready. So I just stand out here, let her play for a little bit. ready to be about 1030 and that is when I like to make my coffee. It holds me over just in time for 12 o'clock to have brunch. So I'm going to go make that right now because she has been out here playing for at least 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so for my fast, this is the coffee I use. It's the vanilla hazelnut caribou coffee blend and from the nutrition facts i can find it is zero calories so it does not break your fast and it helps with that added flavor as all right well. and before that brews i'm gonna get in this little mixing bowl right here well measuring cup but it has a little spout right here so it'll make it easy to pour into my coffee so i am going to put a teaspoon and a half of heavy whipping cream in my coffee for one point and then some cinnamon. I read some stuff yesterday that cinnamon will actually not break your fast. So this is another thing you can add to that list that I put in my video on Monday. So I am going to put a half a teaspoon of that into the mixture and then I'm gonna use my frother right there and froth it all up. So I'm going to do a little taste test with you because I have not had this version of my fast coffee before. So it's kind of like a whipped coffee, but safe for your fast. It smells amazing. Literally like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So let's give it a try. Oh my goodness. That's good. It's really good. Good way to add some more flavor to your coffee if you just have black coffee and you don't have like a flavored like I do. That's a good way to add some flavor. Might be my new favorite way to enjoy my fast. But I'm going to enjoy this coffee now and then I am going to watch some YouTube and around 12 o'clock I will be back here to show you guys what I'm making to break my fast. Alright guys, so I am kind of sorry to disappoint. <laughs> with breakfast but it's gonna be the same old same old you guys know I love my egg scramble just today I'm switching it up a little bit with mozzarella because it's the only cheese I have left but same old gonna saute some onions scramble some eggs with this Jimmy Dean's pork sausage add in some cheese cook some bacon and fruit on the side so let's get this cooking So as you saw, I put my oil or my spray butter, the movie theater butter, 
into the pan. I let it heat up a little bit. Then I pour in the onions. I sprinkle garlic powder on top of that. And then I pour water in there. This helps them soften up. And then once I feel they're pretty softened up, I turn the heat back on too high so they can get golden brown. And then that's when I start to add in my other stuff. So while those onions were cooking up, I cooked up two slices of bacon for two points and strawberries for zero. And then this is how the onions are looking. Let me give them a quick stir. Let me give them a quick stir. Uh, ready. So I just turned it up to high so it can crisp up a little bit. And I am actually going to add in my bacon crumbles right now. Alright, so I add about a fourth of a cup of these crumbles right here for three points. Right, and now it's time to add the eggs and cheese. So, I just crack two eggs in there. BRB, I need to wash my hands. And then I add some garlic powder into my eggs. And before I add the cheese, I give them a quick scramble just so the egg doesn't cook over easy or anything like that. tablespoons of mozzarella. And give that a stir. I normally add pepper in here too, but we are out. So I will show you guys the finished product on the plate. So this right here is my breakfast. I got my egg scramble, bacon, and strawberries. All together, this is a seven point breakfast. Three points for a fourth of a cup of the pork sausage crumbles. Then we got the mozzarella cheese in there. That is a point for two tablespoons. Over here we have two slices of the Hormel fully cooked bacon for two points and strawberries are zero. So again, this is a seven point all right guys so it is lunchtime right now and it's around three o'clock i normally eat my lunch or snack around 3 3 30 and so this is what i am going to make so i am going to make a buffalo chicken dip so i am going to cook up some of this pulled chicken breast and then mix in some of the plain greek yogurt and some hot sauce and then to dip it, I am going to cut up this cucumber, have some celery, and then a serving of these Siete grain-free tortilla chips. They are dairy-free, paleo, and vegan, and they are pretty good in carbs. So you get 15 chips a serving. So that is going to be my lunch. I'm so excited. I've been dying to try this in a buffalo dip so let's make this and i will show you the plate when it's this all is my little snack plate lunch i got some cucumbers celery 10 of the siete chips for three points three ounces of that tyson pulled chicken for two points and then the yogurt and hot sauce is zero so all together this is a five point little snack plate i haven't decided if i'm gonna have pickles on the side yet we'll see how full this it's is. about five o'clock now i'm the only one in the house everyone else was at work or running errands so i'm gonna make dinner i think my grandma wanted me to make the guys hamburgers and then i'm gonna make myself along with my grandma some lemon pepper chicken and with mine i am going to make a summer salad with cucumbers tomatoes and some mozzarella cheese on top. I had this yesterday and I've been craving it for today as well. And I think lemon pepper chicken will go really well with it. So I'm gonna start getting everything cooked. So this is the oil 
my grandma and I use to cook our chicken most of the time. So what I'm using tonight, coconut oil, we get it from Walmart. And this is what I'm using to make the lemon pepper chicken. It is just the lemon pepper seasoning from Trader Joe's and that's literally all you have to do. So this is what you need for the summer salad. You need a cucumber, tomato, white vinegar, olive oil, and then any seasoning you like to put onto your summer salad. I like lemon pepper and just a dash of garlic powder. And you also need cheese of some kind. Well, you don't need it, but I like to garnish it. So I'm gonna cut the cucumber and tomato up. Then I will show you what to do with the vinegar and olive oil. After you cut all your veggies up and you add in your seasonings, you are then going to take about a fourth of a cup of white vinegar and a teaspoon of olive oil. So I'm going to get those all mixed in, stir it all together, and show you the finished product. So this is what it looks like when you get all the liquids in. It's not gonna cover everything. You just want it to cover the bottom and everything's gonna soak up. So now you're gonna put aluminum foil on the top. And this is gonna sit in the fridge for about 30 minutes until dinner's ready. So you can let it sit longer. You can make it in the morning and let it sit until dinner. It's all personal preference, but I made mine last minute, so that's how long it's gonna sit. And I wait to put the cheese on until dinner time. So I will show you guys my plate when it is time to eat. It is almost a quarter to eight, so I'm gonna have my snack real quick before the window closes for my time. Again, I eat between 12 and eight o'clock, and after that, I cut off. I don't eat anymore until the next day. So, we went to my cousin's birthday party this weekend, and I made this low-carb peanut butter pie. The only bad thing is it's pretty high in smart points, it's 11 smart points for that little tiny slice. And it's because it has a bunch of like cream cheese and peanut butter in it. I didn't even think to put it in my smart points calculator. I just saw low carb on Pinterest and made it. <laughs> but I have the points today because a lot of my meals were low. So I am going to have a slice of this for 11 smart points and that will close out my night. So I will leave that Pinterest recipe for that peanut butter pie down low because if you do have the smart points to burn on it or if you're just following low carb and need a dessert, it's really, really tasty. So I will leave that recipe and down below. I will below. also put the ingredients down below for the buffalo dip I made today along with my summer salad. Both were really, really tasty, and I think you would enjoy them. But I'm going to end the video right here because that little piece of peanut butter pie is going to end my night. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys got some new recipes you'd like to try. Let me know if you do. Tag me in my Instagram, at turning that page. It's always down in the description. I'd love to see your recreation of the recipes. It's always fun to see what people add or take away from recipes as well. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell. That way you're notified every time I upload on Wednesday and Saturday. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.